Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. And today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So today is the 1st of April, 2024. Let's see what's in your energy tonight, Pisces, or today. Just remember this is a Pisces collective reading. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. But if you're watching this video, there are messages for you in it. Even though I did say the date, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching the videos, when you're supposed to receive the messages. Messages for Pisces. First card of the reading today, you have imprisonment. See if anything else flies out. Okay, so you have imprisonment, first card of the reading. Then you have marriage. And then you have message of concern. There's someone imprisoned in their mind over in a relationship. You will be receiving a message. There will be a message coming, something surprising. This is something you may not be expecting. This could involve someone that you're married to. It doesn't have to. This could involve someone that wants to get married to you. You've got privileged ladies. So this could be someone that's in feminine energy, someone that could have a bit of money, someone that's sitting back. Just remember, Tarot has no gender, but I feel like you are the receiver. You will be receiving a message. Messages for Pisces. Oh my goodness. Three of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Emperor. The Chariot. Strength, Leo energy in the center of your reading. The Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Moon. And the Queen of Coins. On the back of the deck, you have the World and the Nine of Coins. <clears throat> what is the Three of Swords for Pisces? So some type of heartbreak and ending. You've got the Four of Wands could have been with a commitment. Someone that you were married to with that Four of Wands coming out. This could have been something you were looking at with rose-colored glasses on also with the Seven of Cups. This could be someone online. <clears throat> Some type of clarity and truth was seen um, with the Three of Swords. It was an ending though, so you could have seen something. Something could have came to mind um, with this relationship, with this commitment. Could have been a three-party situation. Threes are coming out. <clears throat> but that's the clarity and truth is this ending is this heartbreak a three-party situation what is the knight of swords <clears throat> you have the three of coins the queen of cups
and the King of Swords. So this was something you were working together with this person on something. It could have been something in the material world. It doesn't have to be. It could be something that was a wish fulfillment. But this person... <coughs> <coughs> I'm coming with a lot of words to say, someone that was in and out, someone that's a bit flighty. You know, this person would come towards you um, with a lot of words and not much of emotion. You know, you're coming out as the Queen of Cups here. You're holding back that cup, though, from this energy. So someone that has air in their chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they don't have to. This could be X energy or someone that's a logic thinker, you know, but there was work being done. You were doing something together with this person, but this person is just in and out of your energy, coming in, do the work that they leave. Um, so things are like forwards and backwards, I feel, with this energy, but there was a heartbreak with that. So what's the emperor? What is the emperor? You've got the Six of Wands, the Lovers, and the King of Coins. So I feel like that's you, Pisces, the Emperor, Aries energy, someone that's making the decisions, someone that's holding their emotions back and, you know, making decisions based on ego giving to the right people um you could be giving having an agreement with somebody something in the material world um but you're making a choice and i feel when you make a choice to leave that heartbreak situation people are cheering you on while you walk away from that because you're now focused on something in the material world with the king of coins coming out you could be choosing someone to work with um with the king of coins coming out also earth energy someone that's stable someone that could be a boss but you're making the choice to not give to this anymore and give to yourself give to something in the material world something that you're focused on what is the chariot what is this chariot for pisces so you have the Ten of Swords. The Nine of Cups. And the Six of Swords. So putting that last sword in, making sure this is over moving towards karma water with the six of swords coming out moving towards your wish fulfillment you know you're still manifesting that wish fulfillment i feel like there's some type of um rising to the call for you now you've woken to the call and now you're you're moving into karma water while you rise to the call you know but you're ready to put that last sword in you're ready for a wish fulfillment you know you are Moving forwards, you've got the chariot coming out, cancer energy. These two horses are a bit wild though. So there could be still a bit of emotion while you let go and move forwards. You know, that's a bit erratic. What is strength? What's strength for Pisces? So you have the five of swords. So someone could have made you walk away. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy. So this is something significant, the strength. And then you've got the Ten of Coins. So I feel like you're needing the strength to push forwards. Someone did make you walk away. I feel like this is spraying down your confidence a bit. 
but there's some type of messages or forward movement that's coming towards you when you walk away from that situation. You know, the wheel is turning and I feel like it's turning in your favor. Sagittarius energy, because you've also got the 10 of coins, so the 10 of pentacles. Keep going because there's something great coming in, some type of abundance. You know, after you walk away from something that I feel, you know, you are giving love someone could have shut that down um but this is all happening for a reason to get this ten of coins this abundance this blended family this wheel is now turning again you know it wasn't turning before but you need to keep pushing forwards to get this turn moving you've got a knight of cups here looking looking at you pushing forwards there's someone watching you while you do all of this what is the Knight of Cups? What's the Knight of Cups? You've got the Knave of Cups. So the Knave is the page. Younger energy. You've got the Five of Coins and the Knight of Wands. Someone that's wanting to come in with passion. You've got two Knights here. Um, someone that is reliable, someone that's looking at you, someone that's admiring you, could have Earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Neck tattoos are significant. There could be no communication between you and this energy. Uh, this could be someone from your past with a lot of night energy coming out, but this is someone that's taking action. I feel like they're wanting to come in and they're ready to come in. They're all like armored up. Uh, so they're ready to make a move and they're ready to get burnt whether or not they do make a move and you reject them. But I feel like there's some type of good news coming in. This person is wanting to say something to you. After no communication, after um, this person could have been left out in the cold. As I said, there could be no communication between you and them. Um, as to why they're watching you, you know, they're watching you fight this lion here and they're admiring it. They're admiring your strength. You know, you being strong like this is really, as I said, that's like a major card coming out. So this is major. This is attracting this energy. What is the Ten of Cups? What's the Ten of Cups? So you have the Three of Wands. So this is something you have been expecting to come in. The Star could be someone that has Aquarius in their chart. And then you've got the Emperor Aries energy. So it could be someone that is a boss, a leader. It could have Aries also. Someone that could have fire in their chart. There's a lot of passion. This person moves with passion. This person will work with passion they will say how they feel they're ready to to hear what people have to say in regards to what they say but they will say what they want to say i feel there's some type of collaboration as moving forwards with this energy this could be a wish fulfillment coming in towards you something that i feel you've let go of control of you may have realized that you could you can't control the situation, um, but this person is going to move in towards you. You've got the Emperor coming out, Aries energy. Um, the Emperor is the Divine Masculine too. So the Divine Masculine is the doer, the Empress. She's the Divine Feminine. She's the receiver. You know, as I said, you're sitting in this receiving energy. Um, this person, I feel, is sitting in that giving energy. And I feel like they're going to come to you and say something to you. They could be looking at you like you are this, you know, wish fulfillment to them. You're someone that I feel, you know, going with the flow of life, someone that's uh, vulnerable, open, honest, has integrity, but there's something, this is coming in, this emotional fulfillment, this happiness, this family. You could have a family with this person, with the emperor coming out also. This person could have family. This person may want to have family with you in the future. 
What is the moon? But there is a message coming in from this person. What is the moon? You got the knave of cups. The six of swords. And the eight of cups. <clears throat> so you're leaving. This person keeps coming out. You're leaving a past energy. Could be a younger energy that you're leaving. Something that was unfulfilling. Something that could have broke your heart. It was only one-sided. Um, there's only one side of the hearts here, like, showing. But there's some type of good news um, that you're moving into karma water with somebody. Someone's pushing you into karma water. Someone's pushing you on your path. Someone's going to walk with you on your path with the moon coming out pisces cancer energy they could have that in their chart but they're bringing you out of those emotions and they're bringing you forwards and moving with you i feel on your on your path that you're taking and this person is coming along too there's this movement of leaving something that's unfulfilling and when you do it's moving into calm or water it could be, as I said, with a younger energy. It could be with someone that has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, but this is someone that is wanting to give you emotion, um, someone that's wanting to give you some type of good news, like this message of concern that's coming out. <clears throat> what is the Queen of Coins? What's the Queen of Coins for Pisces? So you have the Seven of Wands. The Ace of Coins. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're going to give to this. I feel like you now see the situation from a different point of view. You may not have seen it like this before. There could have been something just not helping you put it together you could have been just in your emotions but now you're out of your emotions you know you're looking at things from a different point of view you're going to start some type of new beginning <clears throat> you're going to fight for this new beginning too with the eight of swords coming out you could be worried about starting this new beginning, about giving to this new beginning, this thing that you are calling your wish fulfillment. You know, this could be family, this could be giving to something in the material world, but you could also be giving to someone that has earth in their chart, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This could be a parent, a mother. Someone, someone that's wanting to give to you give something back to you you know they're giving a coin here she's giving a coin i feel like you may be in your head about it with the ace of coins coming out this is like a new world a new start a new beginning and this person is handing it to you but you are in your head about it With the seven of wands coming out you're going to fight for this though and you have had to fight for this You've been through a past <clears throat> as to why you're in your head about this. You've got those boundaries up. But this is a wish fulfillment. This person coming in with this message. <clears throat> and I feel like it's got something to do with love. Could lead to marriage in the future. What is the world? What's the world for Pisces? You got the Ace of Cups. The Two of Coins. <clears throat> and the Knave of Swords. So there is someone watching you 
This person could be online. They could be watching you online. This person's wanting to start a new beginning. They're juggling on whether to move in towards you. I feel this is what this message of concern is. This person could have Capricorn in their chart. They don't have to. Um, but they're looking <clears throat> at whether to give you this new cup and they want to. So this is a new person. They could have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tattoos hand tattoos are coming out <clears throat> this person is also seeing you complete cycles and you know i can feel this in the energy this person is feeling very very attracted to you and they're wanting to move forwards but they do need to get over ego I feel to move in what is the nine of coins so you have the four of cups the high priestess and the knave of wands So you've got the nine of coins coming out, something you're working on, something that is coming into fruition. And I feel like with the four of cups and the high priestess and the knave of wands, this is something you are working on. And I feel like divine wants you to keep pushing forwards, even if they're maybe somebody coming into your life i feel like divine's wanting you to keep focusing on it because divine does not want you to miss an opportunity there is someone coming in you know a page of ones fire energy leo aries sagittarius someone that's younger someone that's going to be a lot of passion um a message is really coming out a message of love or commitment um, it could be with someone that has Pisces or Cancer in their chart. Intuitively, I feel like you you are connecting with this person, but I also feel like there's something that you need to keep focusing on. Um, this may be something that is hidden also, so something that you may keep hidden from other people because this person's looking at you very attractively while you work on something in your world. And I feel like <clears throat> when this person comes in, don't miss this opportunity also, don't miss, you know, your opportunity of what you're doing right now. Um, don't be too focused on, you know, love. You need to be focused on yourself. This is the time right now that you need to be doing you. But there's someone in their mind about wanting to come in, come forwards towards you with a message. Someone that's looking at you very attractively, Pisces, while you work on yourself, while you move on from the past and you learn those lessons. People are always watching. Now, if you have social media, then yeah, they do. And it could be anybody. <clears throat> That's just a message for someone. Okay. Fortune telling card for the collect uh, collective, Pisces collective. So eight again, enlist the sympathy of your fellow worker. Each needs the other. And we will grab a music message. Aquarius lets the sun shine in the fifth dimension and we will grab this shell card so shells could be significant water jewelry <clears throat> pearl shell acknowledge your role as the wise one to stay open and give forth only love okay 
so pisces i'm gonna leave it there thank you all so much for liking sharing subscribing um sharing your energy watching these videos every day you know if it wasn't for you i would not be here but thank you so much for supporting me in the channel you know i love doing these readings every day thank you so much to everyone that's been purchasing the personal readings um, my sale has now closed i will do a sale again in the next few months but yes, thank you again so much for your support. Um, you know how much I love you guys. Um, I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.